I just want to show you how I'm able to make this thing run with the seat off. If you take the safety shut off, security shut off, and jumper, the two copper pins, you can start the bike with the seat off. Alright, I, so I changed the petcock out on the Soho 50. I went from this stock vacuum activated petcock to a manual petcock with a uh, with the fuel on and off. I've seen this done with other scooters and it's supposed to work but now my scooter is not running right at all so I'm gonna reinstall the factory back on and I'll show you the footage of what I did prior and how I thought I was doing something that would work but it just wouldn't when you idle it and give it gas it just wouldn't it was like it was flooded out it wouldn't go so I'm hoping putting the stock one back on will work properly and um, if you're considering doing something like this on your Lance Soho 50 uh, you may not want to and you can see what I did and why and uh, yeah I guess I'm not afraid to show my failures on YouTube either I'm gonna change the petcock on this Lance Soho 50 scooter from the current vacuum activated petcock to a manual petcock on the gas tank. The uh, factory petcock is vacuum activated, meaning vacuum for the crankcase activates the uh, gas flow but I want to get it to be just mechanical, so I want a petcock in here that's here that's on. Right, so when you remove the seat, you have to unplug the kill switch that's inside the uh, bucket. Also, this is the um, gas gauge electronics, and that has to get unplugged also. So without removing the, pl I'm gonna try without removing the plastic to take the tank out. There's only two um, nuts or bolts holding it, um, two bolts holding it in, and I'm hoping I can wiggle it out I'll have to disconnect the fuel lines from the petcock, but it shouldn't leak because again, it's vacuum activated. So my main goal is to empty this tank of the fuel that's in it and put some ethanol free fuel in it because uh, I'll be storing it soon and I don't want the carburetor to gum up. Well, so much for that idea. I watched a video on the Cabo and it was only two rear bolts, but there's two bolts additional on this model here up front at the tank so I'm going to take the plastic off and uh, access the tank okay now that I have the fuel tank off uh, here is the vacuum line right here and it, you'll notice that it goes to this T so I'm going to remove the T and just jump from here with one piece of tube to over here. That way there's not a vacuum leak and I don't have to put like a bolt at the end of here. There's no need to do that. Since I'm eliminating this, I can just jump her like that. All right, I've taken the vacuum hose, the long length that went up to the vacuum um, petcock and I cut a length allowing it to loop around without a kink in the wire. I took off the old pickup right here and you can see the old fuel filter there. So the tank already had a filter or has a filter and being that this is a 2016 so it's four years old um, with only 3,000 miles I think I'm gonna not put the new filter on I'm just going to leave the old filter in and put the petcock in. The old lines were going in this direction, so when I tighten this up, I'll have to make sure that 
it feeds in that direction. So when it comes to fuel, I don't know how effective this thread tape is, or thread seal tape, but I know it's good for plumbing. So uh, just going to put it on the threads before I put the new pet cog on. Alright, with the thread lock on, I'm going to put on the thread on the new pet cock. All right, I'm gonna put the seat back together. So on top of the uh, petcock not working, uh, this wire that I had taken out is supposed to stop the limiting of the RPMs, but for some reason this thing just keeps surging and higher and lower and higher and lower. So, you know, maybe I have a card problem, but I'm gonna put it back on, see if that sorts out the issue. Uh, we'll see.